Today's lesson is looking at polygons, section 10.4 of our textbook. And the goal is to classify quadrilaterals and other polygons. We start with that first term, quadrilateral. This is a closed polygon with four sides. Four sides goes with the quad prefix. We have a trapezoid. This has exactly one pair of parallel sides, which in this drawing are the top and the bottom. Next, we have a parallelogram. This one has two, two pairs of parallel sides, and they are opposite from each other, obviously, because they can't run together. Now, since we've got two pairs, we want to go ahead and make two marks on one of the pairs to make sure we're different from the other pair. We have a rhombus. This is four sides of equal length. You may have seen this before. It looks like a diamond usually, but the definition just says four sides of equal length. Next, a rectangle. This is a parallelogram with four right angles. It's a parallelogram because we've got two pairs of parallel sides. Okay, the opposite sides are parallel. No need to color it in. And we have our four red angles, noted by our four red boxes there. And finally, a square. Four equal sides and four right triangles. Not listed, but it also has two pairs of parallel sides. Now, polygons. A closed figure whose sides or line segments intersect only at their endpoints. Polygons are shapes. And poly means many, so we could have any sided shape. A regular polygon, this is a polygon whose angle measures and side lengths are all the same. A good example of this would be a square. Because we know from last slide, a square, all right angles. And we know from before, all side lengths are the same. So a square is always regular. Now in this chart, just getting some pictures out, out there for you guys, we have drawings and number of sides. A pentagon has five sides, and there's a drawing of it. Okay, it looks kind of like, well, we have the Pentagon building in Washington, D.C. People play baseball or softball, think of home plate. That's a pentagon. Hexagon has six sides. Think of some fish bowls are in this shape. If you ever look closely at a honeycomb, it's usually a hexagon as well. A heptagon has seven sides. This one is not very common. If any of you have ever gone to Canada, their coins are in the shapes of heptagons. And finally, an octagon. Eight sides, you've all seen this on a stop sign. This concludes your lesson on polygons.